Hello and welcome to All Creator Tools. I am your host, Colsey, and today we're going to be taking a look at Nightbot. It's an absolute classic tool, and today I'm going to show you how it works, some of the things you can do with it, and give you advice on why you should be using something like Nightbot. Nightbot is a chatbot for Twitch and YouTube that allows you to automate your live streams chat with moderation and new features allowing you to spend more time entertaining your viewers. And the most important thing about when you're entertaining your viewers is entertaining them. You don't want to have to faff around with putting links in the chat and sending them to your Twitters and sending them over to your Twitch or YouTube. This is what Nightbot can help you with. Very simple to sign up. So we'll uh, you sign up here and you log in with your Twitch. So I will log in with my Twitch. Here we are on the Nightbot dashboard. This is what you will see when you log in to Nightbot. Now, Nightbot, like I said, it's a way of sort of automating as well as a few other things, but automation and moderation is really one of the key parts to Nightbot. The commands that you can have is varied. You can obviously add custom commands and we will get into a few custom commands that I have briefly run in the past, but it also comes with a bunch of default commands. So here we will see the default commands. So these are the commands that by default will be added and you can use and you can turn them on or off up to you by typing these into chat your viewers will be able to activate these things or if it's a command that you specifically only want moderators to be able to access or you to be able to access you can change that when you set up or edit these commands so that they have accessibility levels who can access them who can do them you type them in the chat on your channel uh, and then they will activate whatever you'd set them to activate so the defaults you can type exclamation mark commands and that will give the users your viewers a list of commands that they can use which is very handy because obviously if everybody's using this everybody has different commands everybody has different customs etc this is a useful thing to always have on because it allows your viewers to see what kind of commands they can use so we have commercial to run a commercial filters uh, allows moderators to manage spam game another useful one that i like to leave on which shows your stream the game that you're playing so if someone comes in and they go what kind of game is this they don't have to ask you that and you don't have to reply to that necessarily if they're able to type the command and it will just tell them oh this is the game he playing makes sense i like it uh, marker create a stream marker in your twitch channel to easily return to later great if you want to go back to a specific moment or clip a specific moment useful tool to have uh, a poll enables you to start a poll with your chat very easily uh, regulars allows moderators to manage channel regulars we will go into regulars in a little bit because that's a whole section that we need to look at and very useful songs again another section that we will go into in a little bit song requests is part of nightbot that you can enable uh, tags you can edit your stream tags title you can show the stream title allow moderators to modify it and winner chooses a random user in chat as a winner again another feature that we will take a look at a little bit deeper in just a minute so these are sort of the basic ones that they give you right these are the first ones that you will have enabled uh, and you can choose to enable or disable these as many as you want but these are just some good starting commands to have it's completely customizable and there might be stuff that you want to add specifically for your stream and really creativity and your own thoughts and ideas are the limit to this. I'll just go into my custom commands to show you just a few of the custom commands I've used in the past. I had one called exclamation mark lurk, which was just a nice way for somebody to come and lurk in the stream, but also kind of just type out, I'm here, but I'm gonna be lurking. Just a nice thing, don't have to do it. Just thought it was nice. Socials is a very good one to have. I think it links to your other socials, whether that be your YouTube, your TikTok, Twitter, uh, whatever you use it's a good way of having that in the chat and an important feature is specifically with socials a good way of using that is using the timers if you set them as a timer so you can set these things called timers you can actually have them pop up in chat nightbot will post for you in chat at an interval that you select and as long as a minimum amount of chat lines has been posted. That's so not to spam your chat constantly. So chat lines is an option that you can put on. It's how many lines of chat, it says here, measured in lines per five minutes. How many lines of chat there has to be before Nightbot will decide, yes, I can post that again and it won't appear spammy. So it's a useful thing to have so that you can post like social media links, maybe uh, a recent video you did, maybe a charity 
fundraiser that you're doing, whatever it is. It's a good thing to be able to have, to automate, to not have to think about, to set and forget. You can concentrate on your stream and being entertaining and Nightbot will handle this for you. I have used it here in the past for a sponsorship to, to promote the sponsor. I've used it in the past to promote donations or charity donations, super useful. So spam protection, again, super useful. Gives you a way to protect your stream, limit words, uh, spam risks, excessive emotes, excessive caps, uh, links, excessive symbols, repetition. These are the things that it allows you to sort of customize to make sure that your chat and your stream is protected and not spammy. It's another thing to have that's just like set and forget. You don't have to rely on moderators to do it or if you don't have moderators, then Nightbot can be your moderator for you. Again, really, really useful tool here. So let's have a look at a couple of other things. So regulars, something I mentioned earlier. So regulars is an area where you can add users to be known as regulars. Now, regulars might be friends or family that you trust to come to your stream, you trust, you know them, might be regular viewers that you wanna put as regulars, might be subscribers that you wanna put as regulars, and they can have access to certain commands that maybe a new viewer won't have access to, for example. It's a good way to sort of be able to have even more customized commands in there that only certain people have access to should they need it. It's a useful tool. Giveaways is another option if you're doing some sort of giveaway, whether it be a game or whatever you're giving away. You can set the eligibility here for users, subscribers, regulars, mods, active users. You can uh, randomly select an active user or people who've used a keyword. Maybe you've been telling everyone to put a certain keyword in to enter the giveaway. You can use that. You can use random number. Uh, you can set subscriber luck. So subscribers could get a little bit extra luck or regulars uh, and users within the past however long they've been active. If you say we're going to do a giveaway in the next 10 minutes, then you want your users to chat to enter just type in the chat to enter then you can set this to the next 10 minutes and then whichever users are active within those 10 minutes will be eligible and then you can simply roll it it will select the user and then you're able to award them their prize very easy to use and very useful the last sort of feature to look at is the song request feature. This enables people to song request, request songs uh, on your stream. So you can do this uh, via settings. You can see, you can have search providers. So you can have SoundCloud or YouTube. Uh, you can create custom playlists here and you can set the level who can actually request a song here. Uh, you can select which services you want to use. You don't have to use both of them. If you want to use just one, you can do. Uh, limit to music. You can limit only to music on YouTube so that you don't end up with people requesting specifically videos. You can set limits to the queue length and the user limit. All of that good stuff. Again, a really cool feature to use if you want to do it. And if you go back to your commands and your default, you'll see that uh, songs here, if we go to options, uh, you can see that this shows what songs will be available. Another really cool thing that Nightbot has is it can be a little bit daunting. There's a lot of, you know, customization that you have to do and a little bit of work that you have to put into it to set up your commands and get everything ready. But Nightbot has a great section of Nightbot docs, which explains and gives examples of ways you can use uh, the tools that they give you. For example, we're looking here at songs usage. We can you see that it will display the current song. It then gives you a way of using it, like usage song list. It will give uh, a link to all the songs. Next song, songs next will display the next song. And like they have this for all of the different commands that you have. So you can just go to commands. Uh, you can see how these will be used, custom commands. It's all very well explained. So if you are having any issues with creating a command or getting a command to work, or you just want to know how a specific command can be used more, they have a whole section on Nightbot Docs, which has all that information for you, which is super useful because if you're just jumping into this, having never done it before, it can be a little bit daunting. It's not too difficult to set up, but to really embrace it and really get into it, you might want to look into, into the docs and have a look at really how you can use some of these custom tools to best benefit your stream and to enable you to create more content and more engagement for your audience, which I think is really cool. I hope you guys have found that useful. Obviously, it has only been a very quick look through Nightbot. We hope to bring you more tools in future here from All Creative Tools. So please do remember to like and subscribe if you want to catch those in future. But remember to always have fun creating.